Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This video is going to be all about my solo trip to Dubai and just kind of like solo travel in general. Obviously that is my first solo trip ever so I'm obviously not like really experienced in it but I mean it was a long time. It was a month and um, so I feel like it has given me a lot of confidence for if I want to do another solo trip which I definitely will but like once you kind of break the ice with doing one I feel like you could literally do it as many times as you want but the first time is pretty intimidating and it's quite you know scary you're going to a new place maybe you've never been to it before so this is why I just wanted to make this video I'm going to be talking about like costs like if I felt safe like would I recommend it and just tips basically and as I said I'm not like really experienced so I might not have the best tips this is just what's worked for me so yeah let's get into it i put a question box on my story literally just now um so i'll answer the ones that i've got already and then i'll come back to it through filming but someone said overall costs so it's not actually as bad as you think to like get there and for accommodation so i think when i booked so i booked my flights around three weeks before i went um and a single flight not a return flight was around 450 to 500 pounds um because i actually originally only booked for two weeks and not a month so i i booked two single tickets rather than one return ticket Um, i booked literally my ticket for the way back a couple of days before I left because I just thought, fuck it, I'll just go for, I'll just go for a month. I I could personally go for more than two weeks, so I just thought, why not? And I, I just want to start off also by saying that I'm literally so, so grateful to have been able to do this trip and to have been able to, just to be in a position to be able to pay for the trip on my own and it's something that like I literally never take for granted and I'm so, so grateful to be in a position where you know I, I can do that and yeah it literally is just incredible and I never take it for granted and as I said in my previous video if you guys have the opportunity to do something like this or you can work towards it something like a solo trip then I would definitely recommend doing it it will literally be the best thing that you do ever it's literally you'll never regret it but yeah so as I said the flights were around 450 to 500 pounds for a single and I flew with Emirates and on my way there this is literally like completely unnecessary like you do not need to do this at all I flew business class which I've never done before and the only reason that I did it was because this was kind of like a trip of a lifetime for me like it's my first solo trip and I was going for quite a long time and I really did just want to treat myself and honestly just cherish it as much as possible and just make it the best experience that I possibly could for myself and there's nothing wrong with that but I do literally just want to say that that's absolutely unnecessary like I flew economy on the way back like don't think that I'd be flying business both ways because it's so unnecessarily expensive and you literally get there either way and I probably will not book it again unless it's like another maybe really important trip but I just thought life's too short like why not just try it just see if it's fun and it was great it was it was really good I recommend it to do it if you can but if you can't then literally it doesn't matter like you literally as I said you're getting from A to B either way wherever you sat so it literally does not matter it was just a bit excessive and a bit bougie of me I just thought I just thought fuck it the whole t the whole start of this trip the whole end of this trip the whole trip I was just thinking fuck it in my head and it's really toxic because I was just thinking like money's gonna come back do you know what I mean like <laughs> it's a really toxic trait of mine that I just say to myself like what if I die tomorrow I say it about I say it about everything and it's so toxic but it's also like it also just makes me just live life <laughs> so I mean I guess there's a silver lining in everything it's just the way that you see things I guess isn't it? um and then so I would do it differently if I went somewhere for a month again so I booked hotels and hotels for a month is obviously going to be expensive I just personally didn't want the aspect of like cooking for myself I literally just really wanted it to be I could just kind of do whatever I wanted I just I just didn't want to cook for myself basically so I was like why would 
I get an apartment with a kitchen sort of thing when I don't even I don't even want to use it. You know, like I really just wanted to experience the whole like thing. Going out for going out for meals to places where I wanted to go and just enjoying myself without the pressure of I don't know, having to maybe cook something healthy or on track or something like that. Um, which, there's nothing wrong with that. I just personally didn't want to do that on this trip. And I just wanted to be taken care of by a hotel, basically. And not like, as I said, have to cook for myself. But if I go back there or go somewhere else for a month, I will do an apartment or apartments because hotels obviously are expensive for four weeks like it's expensive so the first hotel that i stayed at was on the marina and it was called wyndham and it was okay it literally had everything that i needed like it was fine it literally got me through the first two weeks um but basically in dubai so there's the marina and the marina is absolutely huge bear in mind and i didn't know this before going obviously i'd never been to dubai before um but there's like so there's one side of the marina where basically like everything is there's loads of stuff on it and it leads you to like jbr beach and stuff like that on that side of the marina and i was on the wrong side but with the marina there's no like bridges to get across so this literally sounds like first world problems but you have to walk all the way around it to get to the side where everything is basically and i did it on my first day absolutely horrible in the heat like it's just it was not good so i really wish that i had kind of like checked that location out a little bit more but i guess you're on the marina you're on the marina sort of thing do you know what i mean that's what i thought but as i said yeah it was just a bit of in an awkward location it was on like the very edge of the marina and the wrong side so maybe just try and see how close you are to things if you are looking to go on the marina and um, it was literally an absolutely fine hotel like the only thing that I would say is that I didn't book a room with a, a balcony because obviously it was more expensive and I just thought I'd actually need a balcony but my room did end up like facing the road so I could like see and hear the road which again it's like first world problems it literally doesn't matter at all but it just kind of wasn't really giving like the best vibe that it could have just because it was just it was obviously not in a great location as I said and like my view and everything like that was not like really good and I obviously went to film content like I went to work and I just felt like it didn't look great when I was filming and stuff like that and obviously it just sounds it sounds so like superficial and like not important at all but for me who's someone that like I went out there to work and basically film everything I just felt like it didn't look that good like I didn't get a really like good vibe when I was filming and stuff so I didn't create as much content as I would have liked in that first place and that, so that was for the first two weeks and then the second two weeks I'd already booked a place which was pretty close by to my first place and I'd seen it in person and I wasn't really vibing with it with the location again like it just what didn't look like it was in a great location and yeah I was just like I don't really want to stay there so I cancelled that and I was kind of looking for somewhere else and I booked somewhere actually on the palm for my last two weeks and i personally much preferred the palm i just feel like apparently at this time of year in dubai the marina is like really really quiet because obviously dubai is like quiet sitting down anyway at this point because it's getting so hot that people don't go in summer like it's actually unbearable it was getting unbearable even when i was there it was like 40 plus degrees but apparently in like the winter months the marina is really popular i don't know it's really busy but for me the palm was a much better vibe um, it had loads and loads of restaurants literally right on your doorstep and I don't know I just like being by the beach I think that's just what I personally prefer it literally just depends what you prefer and I just found that it was close to quite a lot of the restaurants that I wanted to go to on the palm that I had kind of like in my notes and on my list and everything like that um, but the second hotel that I stayed at was called the Marriott Hotel and it was absolutely unreal I paid a lot of money for for that hotel and again it just comes back to me just saying life's too short and like I literally just wanted to make the trip the best that I possibly could have and it really did that to be fair like it really just enhanced my experience you guys will have literally seen from my vlogs anyway but I'll put some pictures on the screen of like the view that I had in this second place as well it was absolutely unreal and it had a balcony and everything like that and 
it was just a much better vibe for me personally i literally loved it so much and i personally found myself like wanting to create so much more content there and i did create more content there just because i felt like it looked better it had a better vibe and everything like that obviously this is very niche of me to say that because not everyone's job is like being an influencer and stuff like that so that literally doesn't matter to like 99 percent of people but for me i did want it to look you know really nice and i wanted to get a nice vibe to film in and i definitely definitely did get that in that hotel like i absolutely loved it it was so nice and in both hotels i did only breakfast included so i went out for meals both lunch and dinner which it was very expensive i'm gonna say it here right now dubai is so expensive like for food and stuff it's absolutely ridiculous like if you because obviously you can't drink tap water there if you get like a big glass bottle of water for example it's about 10 15 pounds for like one big glass of water it's literally crazy and like if you get like a sprite or like a coke or something for example you're looking at like five pounds and up like it's 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 just like daylight robbery to be honest and like a lot of the, i did go to quite a few like fancy restaurants just because they were ones on my list that i'd never been to before and i really wanted to just try them out and it wasn't un it wasn't unusual for me to like spend around a hundred pounds for example on myself at dinner which is literally for like a starter and a main which is ridiculous but i mean obviously you've got to go in there expecting to kind of pay like if you are going somewhere that's you know quite posh like it's got like a lot of really good reviews and it's kind of like a social media popular restaurant for example like i went to nobu a couple of times which there's like lots of nobus around the world and then hakasan and obviously they're like big name restaurants that like if you know that you know that they're like popular restaurants and everything like that you have got to know that you are going to be paying a lot of money for your food obviously you can 100 percent do it cheaper sorry if the angle is a little bit different i just got um cut off my um battery was full but as i was saying um you can 100 percent do it for cheaper if you are looking to not pay much you can go to the places that are obviously less busy like not as big names and stuff like that i literally didn't go to these restaurants all the time by the way like a lot of the restaurants i went to were just kind of like little nice little restaurants on the beach near where i was staying and they weren't too expensive but even still like it, dubai is just expensive like for a main it was very common for one main to be like 30 pounds 40 pounds and it literally be nothing special it's just like some chicken and potatoes or something like that which is literally extortionate but yeah as i said it is expensive hey guys it's editing mia but i'm just editing this video and i feel like i didn't really mention this but i in this video did not tell you how much i spent on hotels specifically just because i don't really want to disclose that information um i told you how much i paid for the flight and stuff like that but i feel like telling you how much i paid altogether for hotels and stuff for a whole month is quite a personal question and i just feel like it's not really that helpful to other people anyway so there's just not really any point but i would say that because i got quite a lot of questions i would say that you do need quite a bit of money you know saved up to maybe stay somewhere for a month it's different if you're talking about a week or a couple of weeks but as i said dubai is very expensive so if you are wanting to get accommodation for a month it will be expensive um apartments will obviously be a little bit cheaper i think i was looking at some apartments and i think you can probably spend around two and a half thousand to three thousand for a month um which is really not bad at all but honestly just it's completely dependent on where you want to stay what you want and everything like that so it's just a very personal thing that i feel like if you are going you need to research yourself and just find what is in your budget um another question i got asked was did you feel safe and yes i felt very safe like dubai is a very safe place as in like their laws and everything like that like don't allow a lot of stuff like they wouldn't let things slide you know like in the uk for example like people steal stuff all the time and like there isn't really many consequences a lot of the time unless it's obviously like a major thing um people just you know in the uk people just steal stuff all the time don't they from shops and stuff like that and from people like in the street 
Um, that would never happen in Dubai because basically I think you get your hands chopped off. Like, I think that's their law. So, like, stuff like that never happens. And I think, obviously, touch wood, like, I don't know if this has ever happened to anybody else. It probably has, you know, it happens everywhere. But things like like abuse like to women and stuff like that i also think that that is really not allowed in that country like don't bash me for saying that if maybe you know someone who's experienced that or you've experienced that personally but from what i've heard and what from what i've spoken to people about it before i went they said that like it's basically they just don't do that over there like it's not the same however i will say that you will be made to feel very uncomfortable if you are a woman like it's easier said than done me saying like, oh, they wouldn't actually do anything, which you'd hope that they wouldn't. Like, because nothing ever actually happened to me, as in like, you know, people don't shout stuff like they do in the UK. You know, like if you're walking down the street, men cat call you and stuff like that. Like, they don't really do that. And like, obviously there's such a big issue in the UK and in so many other countries with like rape and abuse to women and stuff like that, which I very, very thankfully didn't experience at all in Dubai and I don't think women really do experience that in Dubai which is really good however I will just say that men will make you feel very uncomfortable especially if you are on your own I don't know if I was maybe with Anton like my boyfriend they wouldn't have done that but they stare a lot and there's a lot there's usually like big groups of men and stuff like that and they do make you feel really uncomfortable especially if you are like dress up on your own and stuff like that which I was a lot of the time I feel like you've just got to like take it on the chin and just ignore it as much as possible if you are a woman which I did not like like there was one night where I was in Dubai mall because I was eating in the mall there's a lot of restaurants in the mall and I was really dressed up like I had a skirt on I had heels and everything like that and I think about five men came up to me to just like make conversation and just like you know what men are like like not not bashing all men but women, you know what men are like, like sometimes they just come up to you to just ask random questions to try and like start a conversation with you. And that happened about with five different, like five different men in the mall. And I've never really experienced that in the UK because I feel like in the UK men don't actually really have the balls to just come up to you and say stuff. So I was a bit like taken aback and I was, I was really uncomfortable. Like I had to pretend I was kind of like on the phone, you know, to like get them to kind of like go away. And I did actually end up being like, quite rude to them because obviously they've literally just taken advantage of the fact that I'm a woman on my own you know like all dressed up makeup on heels on stuff like that if I was with a man they definitely wouldn't have done that I know they wouldn't have it's kind of like that in Dubai as I said they probably wouldn't have actually ever done anything but as I said they make you feel uncomfortable so just be aware of that if you are a woman going over there just have your wits about you I'm sure hopefully touch wood that you'll be absolutely fine if you go on your own but yeah just give you a heads up because i feel like nobody really told me that everyone was like oh my god you'll know you'll be absolutely fine like you will feel so so safe and I did feel safe but very uncomfortable i feel like it's very serious over there if you kind of commit a crime like that or just any crime by any means so that's why i kind of had in the back of my mind oh like nothing will actually happen but obviously never say never like you should never be too confident that nothing will happen so yeah i did just want to say that especially if you're going on your own so someone said what would you change done different having knowing what you know now so as i said i would probably do an apartment for the month it would probably have just turned out like half the price of what i paid um for hotels obviously i went for like a month so it's a bit different if you're going for like a week by all means like stay in a hotel i'd definitely stay in a hotel if i was going for like a week or two weeks but a month is like you're basically living there so an apartment is obviously a little bit better but i would say i will say if you are going on your own a hotel is also really good though because you'll probably be made to feel so much more safe you know you're around so much more people and literally you're in a hotel with so many people Whereas maybe if you got an apartment by yourself, you wouldn't be around as many people. You might feel a little bit more unsafe, especially if you're coming back to your apartment at night, for example. A hotel will definitely make you feel safe. Like, that is one thing I will say. Maybe if I went with my boyfriend, for example, for a month, we would have got an apartment. 
Um, but obviously, yeah, her tells you just surrounded by like a lot of people constantly. So a lot of people asked about gyms and stuff, like how did you find a gym to go to and like where to stay if you're wanting to go to the gym, for example. So I went to, I think it was five gyms altogether in the whole month of being there. So I went to Benus, as you will have seen, Benus, Benus, don't really know how you say it properly. I've kind of just been switching it around constantly, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure that is like the biggest gym in the world, if not like one of the top biggest gyms in the world. Um, a lot of, you know, big names go to that gym. It's very intimidating. Please just be aware of that. Like I was absolutely shitting my pants on my way to that gym for the first time. Like I felt so nervous. I don't even know why. I think it's just because it's so bigged up on social media and all this that if you've never been before, you don't know where anything is. You don't know anybody that's there. It is very intimidating. So I would say that maybe if you want to avoid that, because it's also very, very big as well. Um, I went to Train Beach Club, which was good, but it kind of gave hotel gym vibes sort of like it was nice it wasn't the biggest and it didn't have like very it, it didn't have really good equipment to be honest i would say it's more so you're there for the beach club too so like the, it's there's a really big beach club right next to it and i went to train and then i stayed at the beach club for the day and i think that's what a lot of people do obviously it's called train beach club but for the actual gym aspect side of things it wasn't an amazing gym but if you wanted to go somewhere that maybe you won't feel as intimidated it's got the basic equipment like and it's as i said yeah not too intimidating i would recommend train beach club it is quite far from everything though so i think most people that come to dubai will probably stay either on the palm on the marina and in jvc or like just around that area and train beach club is like quite far it's like a half an hour to 45 minute drive from like the marina and the palm sort of thing so it's quite far and Venus is about 15 minutes away so it's really not far and then i also went to tk mma fit which is the rooftop gym highly recommend as well like it's so cool like i feel like you should just go at least once if you go to dubai however in the heat it is horrible i will say i was doing leg day i had to literally cut everything short because i just it was just so overwhelming with the heat like it was not it was not nice i'm gonna be honest but there is an indoor part of it as well but the indoor part is pretty small it's pretty crammed and i personally didn't want to go in there it was very crammed um and then i also went to warehouse gym and i did really like warehouse as well it's also a really big gym but i didn't feel the intimidating feel i felt at Venus. um but with warehouse there's like so many different locations i think there's like six or seven different locations around dubai so like wherever you're saying i'm sure you'll be able to find one that's close by pricing wise Venus is very expensive i think for a day pass it's about 40 50 pounds which is absolutely ridiculous like you may as well just get a week pass and go for like even two sessions is more worth it because a week pass is about i think it was like 80 pounds still absolutely daylight robbery but i guess you know you're paying for the name you're going to be news like i feel like with a gym like that you've got to expect to pay a lot and then train beach club i didn't actually pay to go there because basically in dubai they have like ladies day and in so many different places they have ladies day on different days each week so ladies day basically is like where ladies go free so they have that at restaurants they have it at gyms they have it so many different places and it's on different days for everything for example ladies day at Venus is on a sunday train beach club is ladies day on a tuesday and i did happen to go on a tuesday so it was free but that is also a really good thing that i like about that because it encourages a lot of women to kind of come out and like you know do stuff which a lot of women may feel intimidated to do and like obviously with the gym aspect side of things it encourages more women to kind of like get into the gym and moving their body and stuff like that which i did really like over there so i don't actually know how much it was at train um i did only go for the one session because i just wasn't really like wowed and as i said it's quite far so there's no real reason for me to really go back and i ended up getting like a two week pass at Venus, so i didn't want to did not want to waste that and also warehouse gym i'm not too sure on the pricing because a couple that lives over there um very kindly gave me a guest pass to go because they go to that gym so i'm not really sure how much that was either 
and TK MMA Fit. Their ladies day is also on Thursdays and I went on a Thursday so I got it for free. Basically finesse the system. If you are going to Dubai, make a list of those days that I've said and you might not even have to pay for the gym. <laughs> but yeah, that is gym wise. I'm pretty sure basically if you're if you're like a tourist going to Dubai like there's it's not actually as big as you think like the palm and the marina for example are pretty close together it's like a 15 minute drive like nothing is really really far away so if you are wanting to go to the gym and stuff you will definitely be able to find one close by someone said did you ever feel lonely um i don't really think i felt lonely sometimes i just felt a little bit um not I don't think awkward's the word, but you know, sometimes if I'm out for a meal by myself, which I literally was every night, obviously, and then you see like a table next to you that's maybe like a big group of people, or you see like a couple of friends, it does kind of make you think, oh, like, I wish I had someone here to speak to me. But then it's also just like, just enjoy it while it's there. Like enjoy your alone time while you're there because most times in life you know you're with someone like you're doing something with someone or with people so honestly just enjoy it as much as you can and i would say there's a lot of solo travelers that go to dubai which also made me feel a little bit better because you know that you're not alone um i did actually meet like a couple of girls in different kinds of beach clubs and stuff and i just start talking to them and they're usually so so nice most people a lot of the girls are so nice and yeah just ended up speaking to a couple of people that were there on their own as well which was nice and that leads on to another question saying um was it easy to make friends out there and i'd say it was but uh, i know i just said that people are nice but for the most part to be fair i actually did think a lot of people out there are quite rude um women men like i don't know i just think i didn't get the best vibe from people out there to be honest like obviously you go to dubai like it's a very very expensive place like you've got some of the richest people in the world living there and you can kind of feel that vibe like a lot of it is quite like judgmental you know like if, if you don't have i don't know something designer or some shit like that some meaningless shit if you don't have a designer bag like i don't know i feel like the women just kind of like look down on you and they just I just get that vibe from a lot of the women over there which obviously is not a problem like literally just focus on you like i literally couldn't care less if people wanted to judge me or not if i had a designer bag or not but like i just felt really judged as well by a lot of women especially older women over there um i don't know if it's just because i am like a young girl on my own i don't know like it was just a bit of a, a weird vibe and as i said like the workers are so so nice like the the staff in all places are really nice it was more just so like the people that lived there and yeah it just wasn't a very friendly vibe i will say that and someone said if i go to dubai for a month how much money do you think i need to have saved it's literally completely like dependent on where you want to stay what kind of accommodation you want to stay at what what kind of places you want to eat at how often do you want to eat out are you going to be food shopping or not so i really i really couldn't say because i will have spent a completely different amount to another person and another person will have spent a completely different amount to someone else so it really is just like it's a bit of a awkward question to answer um obviously as i said the flights the flight prices and everything like that but honestly just go on like airbnb for example or booking.com and just try and find a hotel that's got everything you need and in the right location write it all down and look at loads of different options and just write all the prices down for everything and you know kind of see what fits in your budget best for example but as i said the restaurants out there are very expensive just so that you know before you go like food is food is so expensive out there even like if you go and food shopping for example i never ended up doing like a big food shop obviously i was in a hotel i wasn't cooking myself food but when i did go to the shops for example to just maybe buy some bits it was very expensive so i went to one of the shop it was waitrose to be fair but i didn't really know of any other supermarkets around and i only saw that there was a waitrose so i went there and i got one deodorant packet of crisps chocolate orange cream eggs um what else did i get some tanning oil i think that was it and it cost about 35 pounds <laughs> which is just insane so yes just be prepared to spend a lot over there especially if you are living there for like a month it ends up being a lot um and also another thing that i want to touch on was 
I got Ubers every single day. Like, I literally don't even want to look at how much I've spent on Ubers in the month that I was there. Like, I actually just... Ignorance is bliss with that aspect because that... No, I'm not looking. I'm just not looking at it. Because I, I ended up probably getting about four a day at least because... So for example, I was going to the gym, then you have to get one back. And then if you're going out for dinner, you get one out and then you get one back. But then say you're going somewhere in between in the middle of the day. Do you know what I mean? It just, it just turns out being so much money with like travel costs. But I mean, I feel like that's like anywhere you go on holiday. Do you know what I mean? Like how else are you going to get around sort of thing? So I feel like you've got to expect to pay quite a bit on traveling around and stuff like that. And honestly, it was unbearable to just walk around dubai like i'm not even gonna lie especially in the last couple of weeks when it was getting really really hot walking down the road for like five minutes was unbearable like you'd come back drenched and it just obviously makes you then lean towards getting an uber which is obviously more and more money but obviously it depends what you want to do it depends how you kind of want to get around everything is personal preference with travel this is just how i've personally done it and telling you kind of how I've done it. Uh, someone said, would you move out there? No, absolutely not. <laughs> like I liked the place to be there for like a month, but I just personally wouldn't want to live somewhere like that. As I said, I didn't get the most friendliest vibe from people that lived there. It was, it's obvious, it's obviously such a hot place, which I don't like. And yeah, it's just a very expensive place to live. Obviously you've got the whole like tax rate, tax free thing like that, but it's kind of, Pros, there's pros and cons to everything. Obviously, the UK you have to pay tax, but everything's a lot cheaper. Dubai, you don't pay tax. Everything's so expensive, like so expensive. But it just kind of depends what you want to do. Um, but I personally wouldn't move out there. I just don't think I could ever really live somewhere like that. Um, it just doesn't feel like home to me. Like, doesn't it just yeah, it just doesn't feel like home. But it's personal preference. Like some other people could easily see themselves living there, but. I personally couldn't. Someone said, um, did you go to parties? No. <laughs> I was on my own, so like, I, didn't, I just feel like I didn't really want to do anything like that, especially, like, as I said, you don't want, like, men, like, taking advantage of the fact that you're on your own, for example. But no, I did not go to any parties or anything like that. I feel like if I was maybe with some friends, I would have maybe gone to parties, but, like, I wouldn't even know, you know, like, where to go. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not even a massive party person anyway, even in the UK, so like, I don't really know why that would change in Dubai, sort of thing. But to answer that question, no, I did not go to any parties. Okay guys, I think that is gonna basically conclude all the questions that I have today, and that I kind of feel like I needed to answer. I can't really think of any other ones, but if you do have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. Obviously this information is all very specific to Dubai, obviously. This doesn't like cater for all t different countries and stuff like that but a lot of it is also just like solo travel in general i would just the biggest advice that i would give to you is just keep your wits about you like never be too confident that nothing is going to happen and obviously i went to a place that is quite safe for like women in general and stuff which is why it's also really good to go if you're a woman wanting to go somewhere on your own i would recommend to buy um, I feel like quite a lot of places in Europe may be a little bit more risky if you're going on your own as a woman. Obviously not everywhere, I'm not ruling out any places, but I had just personally heard from people that had already been to Dubai that being a woman there on your own, it is quite safe. Um, so I did feel quite confident going into it like that. But yeah, as I said, all this information is pretty, is specific to Dubai. And I just kind of wanted to give you guys my honest opinion and my advice and everything like that but as i said please let me know if you do have any more questions that i've not answered but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye